<laughs> I'm straight up drinking right now. And by drinking, I mean Mountain Dew, of course. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Yo, what up, folks? Um, and I'm here to introduce you to the big open world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. And before I do literally anything, I need to know your gender. There's only two options. <laughs> Because I was born during a very specific time period, and refused to change my worldviews. Mm. Uh, until the later games, where they don't really do that anymore. Which is nice! Why did why is Mike Park Pollock talking about how he got circumcised? I'm sorry, what and who now? Mike Pollock is the voice actor for Dr. Eggman. Sorry, the current voice actor for Was Dr. it for a cameo? I uh, no, it was just on Twitter. Okay, you said that and that it just makes it feel like I'm reading it in his voice. I got circumcised. He was circumcised. Asterisk circumcised. I got circumcised. <laughs> here I'm gonna here I'm gonna turn off that and get into the soft sensual Pokemon tones. Uh some people might be taking over for others as we kinda fell in folks. But uh here Behold a proper, a proper stream with layout that best fits Mystery Dungeon. So now you aren't always looking on the, on the left-hand side. You aren't always looking at the right-hand side of the screen just so you can actually see, like, what, what what's going on. Where the action's at. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, just screen cap that for the people in the Discord really quickly. Mm. Here we go. I want to find better images. Uh, slash set. art. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that, that works out well enough. Here we got what we need. Alrighty then. Uh, where's my controller? There we go. Grab you. There. Yeah. Whatever those numbers mean, absolutely. Now we don't get a save right now, we just did that. Technically. And three! Smiles go for miles! Oh boy, it continues. Oh hey, we need Robo. True, we do. I pinged him and he's not here. Uh, that man is lost on another one of his Final Fantasy XIV binges, I see. Uh, Endless. Oh, no, he's okay, oh, Pokemon. Dude, you're not kidding me. Why is Mike Pollock talking about... I don't know. Why is Mike Pollock talking about being circumcised? <laughs> Time to get to work. Hooray! Hooray! I'm gonna be over here now. Oh, God, my throat. Are uh, you two? Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Do the listed jobs. That'll do for today. See, so, you know, it kind of bugged me that, like, Robo went with that direction for it, because, like, he, there's music notes on the end of what he's saying. He's si he's doing, like, a sing-songy voice. Like, that will do for today. Understood. No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it. No need to be so okay. aggressive about it, chat -op. Relax. Okay, it actually kind of hurts when he's saying job, work, and all that, and I got laid off today. Oh no. I'm sorry, Con. Shit. It's in Vent! Did you not read? You got yourself the one in Crumble. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what you did is only uh, what's expected of any exploration team. Me, <laughs> 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 for context, number one, I'm very sorry that that happened. Number 
against you. I am not always looking at the damage. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to look at the outlaw notice board today. Job bulletin board. Save my beloved missing Pokemon, help them search, deliver an escape orb, find my treasure. It sounds like you're wandering very far away from your mic at times. For Nidorino, it's just save Nidorina. We're just gonna grab these ones for Beach Cave, since that way we can just tackle a bunch of ones like on to buy an escape orb. Well, what if we just find one? That's also possible. <laughs> you never know what you'll find in a mystery dungeon. Hey, Spinda, it's... what's up? Wait, Myanmar, you were going fast! Hopes and dreams. Misses. Man, that's real that's deep. That's such a silly little fellow. You're going on an exploration? You can start exploring by going out this way. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You be careful. Hey, hey. If you're looking for adventure, you gotta be ready for whatever comes your way. Group is just such a strange little fellow. Whatever comes your way, hey, hey. Welcome to Duskull! <laughs> you wish to cancel! Stop! No, 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 no! Like I said, I can if, really if they show up in a cutscene, you can voice the... If you can voice the... Um... But for the record, yes, that can be its voice. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I hate them smiling. Alrighty then, what do we got? Geopebble, Apple, actually yeah, get that. Get some fucking Oron Berries. Better get some Oron Berries, if you don't, you're flubbernucked. Get some Oron High School Host Berry. Oh my god, you I know, just you beat me to it, Most really. of the berries in Pokemon are named after fruits, aren't they? Yes. Y yeah, that's the point. That's why they oh all look like fruits, god. too. Oh, hold on a second, I just realized there's like a very slight amount of this that's not getting caught but cut by the crop. Let me fix that, actually. Uh, bada bing, bada... That should do it? Yeah, that did it. Okay, good. I want to make sure you're all having, having an optimal viewing experience. There we go. Excuse me, I'm having a Pokemon-related existential crisis. Hello there, welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. What would you like to store? Uh, let's see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pop away this Geo Seed. Everything in the world alive. Yes. That means an orange berry is an orange! Yeah, so it's blue. Or is it just an orange? <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Very funny. Stick. Yes. Yes, clever. But orange, you glad it wasn't a banana berry? Mm -hmm. You mean in a knob? Oh, yeah, we're gonna put away a good chunk of extra shit. Alright, there we go. <laughs> He's the one what sells the orbs. This sunny orb usually is only beneficial for Pokemon that require sunny day or. Just fire Pokemon Basically, in general. Yeah, like just fire Pokemon. Or ones that use Polar Beam. Hello. Because some Wrath Pokemon are really necessary for that. Mm -hmm. Remember, everybody, always put away your money before you go to a dungeon. <laughs> Even if you run into a Kecleon uh, uh, merchant, it's not worth it because you might lose all your fucking money if you die. Damn right, isn't that the truth? Beach Cave! Mm -hmm. Hey, a fucking Papolio! What the fuck are you doing here? Die! Papolio! You know, Papolio. I thought it was Papolio. It is Papolio. I gotta. I was. I w I've never actually like been confronted with how to say that until today. <laughs> it's Papolio. Wow! Right here next. You're, you're saying that right in front of Kabuto. I mean, Kabuto, I know what I say well enough. Yeah, we're not gonna immediately leave. I wanna look around some Kabuto? Damn, Yeah, and Shellos. Yeah, I guess I have to do Shellos. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. 
Maybe. And I should know. Two of my sisters are major Pokemon fanatics to the point where they collect the old school games and shiny hunt. And yet Lemon on here keeps getting the damnedest of shiny luck. Oh, fake tears? Send me some shiny luck, Lemon! I'm gonna get rid of Leer. Actually, no, I'll get rid of Torment. It's a tears for Leer situation? Using the last... Oh! Actually, I should hold on to that. That's pretty good. Like, yeah, keep Torment. Torment's good. Hey, I noticed you used move that inconvenienced me. I'm gonna stop that from happening now. <laughs> Fuck you. Con leveled up. I leveled up! I'll do better now. Good job. Uh, no new moves. When do I get new moves? Uh, I hope soon. When you burn to use torment. Echo to Oh god, my buttons are all fucked up. Oh no. I mean by that I well, have fun. No, they're actually perfectly fine. I'm just stupid and forgot what where they were for a second. I've been playing. Maybe Fallout step on the wonder tile. Eh, it's fine. Also, girl, one second, I just realized I fucked up the one other minor thing. There we go. Alright. Okay. User interfaces. You've been playing fine. Fallout? Yeah, I've been playing the first Fallout. Uh, it's much. It's it's a really weird game. I have a lot of it. I have some issues with it that kind of got balanced out by later games. Also, by virtue it's... of the fact that it's not a. Uh, also, by the virtue of the fact that the other ones uh, aren't isometric role, isometric tabletop style role playing games. Yeah, not really. <laughs> it is just. Super old and different compared to other cooks. <laughs> Pokemon. I mean, uh, the Fallout games. Yeah. Fallout games. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, you really oh, the course But I was gonna say my main issue with it mainly comes from the fact that it's not. It's really good. Like, for, for, it's, a, it's still a very fun game, and it's cool, and it's got, like, good role-playing elements and stuff. I just think that my main issue lies with how they're balancing out, how they balance out the weapons in that game, in comparison to the other ones. Where it's like- Oh shit, you got a boss seed. You can, you're like, where you like, you can build yourself in, like, a way that kind of is conducive to, like, hey, if you want to use small guns, you can use small guns pretty easily. Small guns being, like, anything that's not, like, a big, like, heavy weapon or, like, a laser weapon. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, if you, whenever you do get your hands on energy weapons, they are ridiculously- they're, like, infinitely more damaging than anything else because they're fucking lasers. Which makes logical sense, but if you weren't- well, but if you yeah. didn't, if you didn't, like, focus super heavily on that, it means that they're- Yeah, torment's not sucks. going to work every time. I, I know, I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to do, do torment. But yeah, because, like, the stats- the stats in Fallout hey. 2 are, like, all percentage-based. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Sam. Hello. We're back in Ghost Mo Pokemon Mystery Hello. Dungeon. Sleep Seed. Sleep Seed. Sleep Seed. Blast Seed. Blast seed. Blast seed. Blast. You think you're you guys, gonna pick up a Stun Seed? Did you guys know you can just put salt in hot chocolate? Oh, no, so hey, so not Was that a- up. Huh? It's good. Beach Cave Pit! Wait, what? Did we completely fucking miss the objective that we had to do? I guess. Yep, apparently you did. Time to go back. Yep, you totally fucking did. You have to do it again tomorrow. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Orange. Okay, good night. If I ever Yay. open up my ears, And tomorrow, let's will not speed run through the entire dungeon and miss everything again, okay? Up and up! It's morning! I got the ideas. Good morning, Orange. Yes. Always save your game, kids, because autosave never really works all the time. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. Smile, go! Smile, go! Smile, it's the Until, like, it's actually different, I'll just keep going through it. Alright, let me guess. We're gonna go look at the boards? Yeah, you bet we are. That's right, your job yes. is the same job you still already know how to do. Have you accepted the quest? I mean, like, yeah, I did accept a couple quests. Yeah, here's my job list. 
Save my beloved missing Pokemon. Help my... It's Beach Cave Basement Floor 2. It's Floor 2! Well, it's Floor 2 for this one. I don't... Like, this just says Beach Cave in when general. Did... Oh, to take a job, you have to take it off the spin. So you have to hit... You have to hit take job. Uh... It's not like Super Mystery Dungeon where you could just take them all at once. Whoopsies. Uh, we're gonna throw these out because we have better ones here. Okay. Drenched Bluff. Find your beloved. Nah, fuck that. Deliver a pea sleep seed, orange berry, ketchup berry. Job list. Hey! 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 There we go. Alright, so let's see. But we have to find two. They're all in drenched bluff. We have to deliver a sleep seed, which I believe we already have one. Yep, we do. All right, yep, we do. Let's just take the stuff and go. Actually, let me to drenched drop bluff! Off. I'll drop but off the dude. items as well. What? Huh? Oh my god, go slower. You're giving me some visual whiplash. No. I see the speedrunner in you is awoken again today. Oh. It makes it Go this. Oh, yeah, we got the Satan number and everything. Oh boy. There's a lot of walking around between very repetitive combat. Mm. Speed up button is appreciated. Mm. Alright, yeah, let's see. We don't need that many more. Keep it. So I'm just gonna put away a good we're gonna save a lot of these like really big important items for like leadership. I'm to think of it, we probably don't need apples for like these earlier ones. I know I was using them last time, but we're, that would, we went pretty quick. Okay, I'll keep it Apples are speed. a pretty big... And I know apples are a pretty big part of the stomach mechanic in Super Mystery Dungeon. And, part of your, and they're part of a balanced breakfast. Apples are good for like do later... Do a good dungeons. apple. Apples are good for later dungeons when like, when you're going through like the fucking, the, tr the ordeals. <laughs> I would not know. I like I said before, the only mystery dungeon game I ever played was Super Mystery. I, I did as well. Is... So I've never played any of these yeah, other probably. games. Oh, it's so cute when it's pixelated. Uh, Hard to believe he turns into an emo teenager. Okay, echo to voices. That's right, one Explore dead Explore every floor of the drained bluff. Drenched bluff, fuck me. Explore every part of these floors. It's time for your four o'clock you never know, I never reach any part of your mission. <laughs> oh. well, they usually just tell you, like, hey, you're at the floor you need to be at to complete this objective. Poke points! <laughs> I did not mean to use Torment. I need to reach the floor. that fucking so. bitch. You are on a higher level for this. Yeah. Yeah, you have the high ground. And on the bright side, with the shelter, I'm still allowed to volunteer and help, so I'm going to use some volunteering time in between looking for a new job to help make sure the shelter is up and running again. Come back to the grind. No, that's they like will tomorrow. Work. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. I wouldn't want to go back to the place that laid you off, Con. I'm gonna be honest. I explained everything in vent. It's not technically a layoff. Oh, but you, you told me verbatim that you got laid off. Technically, it's a layoff. Make something technically a layoff but instead of just a layoff. Like, are they gonna give it... you a job back at some point? Yes. Possibly. May I explain, please? Mayhaps. Yeah, sure. Go yeah. Ahead. We're just fucking done here. I'm asking questions. Yeah, I am definitely gonna have to go ahead and just ease my words up a bit because it could put the shelter up. Uh, to make a long Probably. story short, we got dinged for stuff on an audit because of prior administration. 
and for current things with our current administration and how the shelter looks. So, our job as of right now was to repair everything in the shelter, train, get ourselves in order. We, however, cannot get new contracts involved with the services that we had for CPS. What did I walk in on? You'll find I'm out. Talking about her job. So, we cannot get new contracts. No contracts means no kids, and no contracts also means no money that can be coming in to help pay, our, pay, pay, bleh, pay us for our work. Oh. No payroll. So, and we actually... Sorry. So, until we are okay as a shelter, we cannot be paid for it. So, technically, we are laid off. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then you're gonna yes. find another temporary position until they can get their contracts back. I wonder if they can get contracts again. Is this the Precise. same before the... Is this some where the kids are basically acting like criminals? What? What? I wouldn't say that. Well, they were, well, they were misbehaving like crazy. I've told you before. Yes, they were, but at the same time, these are foster kids. But we shouldn't judge them for it. Exactly. Because they're still kids. There's no such thing as bad kids, just bad adults. Mm hmm And a lot of the training that a lot of us had wasn't the very best to go ahead and handle some of these kids and their behavior. Unfortunately. Not to mention some employees that we had. So that go duo. Oh wait, that's the one you wanted. Mm-hmm. Thank you! Thank you. Be huh, no, because you still cool. have another one in here. Oh, I had no, you have another one in here. Only there was some way to check. Uh, I had a pretty crappy day myself, so this no. You had another one! I had a pretty crappy day myself, so this should cheer me up. That's good. Oh, look, it's a froki. I, I tried getting a pizza from Pizza Hut, but then... But they... But after I paid, they, they told me... That their system was down or something, and they need they need they want needed me to pay again. Did you request? Did you tell them you already paid? Yeah, but they said that did it, it didn't go through. No. Did they give you I mean, if you've got a receipt for it, like did the money I, get subtracted from your account? Yeah, twice. I told you you had another one. Oh, that. Request a refund or make a yeah. charge back. Yell at them and said, "Say, give me my fucking money back." I had to do that all the time. How do I do that? Uh, uh you you go in there or call them and say. Hey, I yeah, got I got double charged. charged. I would like a refund. Probably they bring the receipt. Alternatively, or uh, or whatever. uh, alternatively, bring them a bank statement and say, "I want second pizza." Or threaten to call their regional manager and state that this has been happening. I, I told I told them that, and they said that that it should be refunded within a week. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess keep an eye on it. If it doesn't yeah, get refunded, no. then go and yell at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so and, now I'm but still, talk to the regional manager about all of that. Unless they're local, in which case you gotta talk to Big Tony. <laughs> it's true. Never... And he's not necessarily very large. He, they just call him that. Man, finding out most franchises are owned by mega corporation conglomerates that just buy franchise restaurants and run them isn't wasn't surprising but it did kind of fuck me up <laughs> so i'm like yeah, that I'm like that i feel like that shouldn't be how it works Speaking it of shouldn't course, be but how it works it shouldn't be but thanks to ronald reagan like, no more like monopoly a of of, like a third of mcdonald's are owned by like some fucking company I that just buys McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Hey, speaking of head-ass corporate decisions, how about Helldivers 2? <laughs> that shit's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, so from what I understand, this was what it was supposed to be like from the very beginning, but they held off on it because 
Um, uh, they they were crushed under the weight of all the people who really wanted to play Helldivers too. Yeah, and now, uh, they, now there's a bunch of people who own Helldivers too in countries where you can't make PSN accounts. Like Belarus. So they've been playing it for three plus months, which means they can't get a Steam refund. There's also which is yeah. There's also the ultimate super duper reason why they're doing it, which is, hey, look, that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, detail account details and personal information. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Sony, the the company that's had more data leaks than games on the PS5. Oh. And I even told Damn. that to my brother. I even told that to my brother, who's sick of the PS5 no games joke, and even he agrees. You're not wrong, that's the harsh part. Thank you for getting me the peck and berry. Please accept it. Oh, fuck you, that's right, I only get 90%! I want you to have my revival seat. You don't have to, you don't have to voice all of these, it's just- it's Okay, just okay. thanks for you, Megaverse. I can't fuck Team Omegaverse. We're Team Omegaverse! <laughs> Gold Ribbon! Yeah, we are Team Omegaverse! And I, I looked up the definition of Omegaverse, and I'm just like, that's it? I wasn't nearly <laughs> no, it's as bad. just a sense thing. I wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. That's just it. a it, exactly. thing. That's oh, it that's... kind of is, man. I love Rocks. Kind of disappointed. Kind so of disappointed, we're honestly. So are gravel rocks better than pebbles to throw? Or... What makes a rock a gravel rock? Isn't that just a pebble? I, I don't. Oh, what I think gravel's smaller than pebbles. Sorry, a what rock now? I suppose it depends on what kind of gravel. Still better than a claw, you pebble. Chapter 4, The Gatekeepers. Ooh. The next morning. What the Get fuck light. up? <laughs> you know, like, he's strong, which is like real small, then you have like mm -hmm. three fours, which is like that's just like a pebble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is it mostly just canned canned dialogue for the moment? At the moment, until somebody until something different happens, yeah. Miles go for the Hey bop the boopy. I'm gonna be over here. Okay, now this is now. Hey you two! Jesus Christ! We need your help with something today! <laughs> As opposed to uh, any uh, other uh, day uh, where uh, they uh, always have uh, something for us. Diglett, I brought them! Thank you, Lodred. You two are doing sentry duty today! Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty. But today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't mail my post. It'd be great if someone could take over Sir, my sentry duty for today. Enough. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! So, like, Wait, what the... happens in this universe when a Diglett digivolves? Fucking... Yeah, <laughs> what happens when a Diglett digivolves in this universe? <laughs> that's not... They digivolve in a different direction. They get they get two new... Uh, really... Pair... When not... three Diglets love each other very much. I... No, they shut up. They've really gone into... Hey... It, 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 so in like... mitosis. It's like Magnemite. Yeah, I guess it's like mitosis. Sure. Megamite is weak that. because there is, there is 100% of an episode of the anime where I three of oh, them. No, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's okay. Huh? I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Whoa. Shut the fuck up! Oh, God! Don't, you, don't do your duty! No, my me. Hey, maybe you should ease up on the Esper. If if you keep yelling at them, something horrible might happen. <laughs> yeah, but imagine how funny it'd be. What are we supposed to do? Uh, climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty. Sentry duty? Yeah, sentry duty. That's, That's right. right. Sentry duty. <laughs> 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 we can't have sussy people coming into the guild! Okay, now you're taking the like, station a sentry below the guild that just to evaluate Pokemon visitors! Okay. When you first came, you had to, your footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? That's what right. do you. The, the, the funny thing you stepped on upstairs. 
Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Esper's. The footprint is Esper's. We already did that, bud. Oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating, then someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Okay, you want us to climb down this hole. And then? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post! Oh! Diglett burrows through it and pops out underneath the sentry post! I can't do the screaming thing forever! That's fine, I don't gotta do it all the time. He's like talking normally right From now. From the sentry post, fine. Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. And I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. Whatever that word means. It means if you're up to snuff. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> so we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. Cool. Look, all you do have to do is check, inspect the footprints of visitors and tell me what Pokemon they are. Okay. All right, understood. understood. Sounds cool. Good, then let's get to work. Buck up and do a good job! Okay. Okay, bye! bye. Uh, it's pitch black in here, Orange! We'll have to feel our way. Here, let me activate my L let me activate my LGBT lighting. <laughs> I meant to say RGB. <laughs> I mean, you're still not wrong. LGBT well, we lighting. should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh! There! I kind of think of it, that's right. I have, like, I have, like, two, like, bars along the back of my, like, computer setup. Like, like, LED bars and lights and shit. I should see if I can make it do rainbow colors, so that way I can, I can have LGBT lighting. <laughs> Just have it do the clap-on, clap-off thing. <laughs> I see light, Orange! You want them to get a clapper? Loud red. Maybe. Oh, fuck. How's it going? How's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yes, we're in position. Good. Pokemon visitors will step out of the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint that inform me. Got that? Yes, understood. Good. Let's get started. I love that. that Are we nice. actually going to see Pokemon feet? Yeah. Oh, that boy. I love that spray. He's so content. This is somebody's <laughs> fantasy. It's what? Fun. Poke feet? High score! Oh, it's a mini game! Look at the High Pokemon score. top screen on the left screen, okay? That identify the Pokemon. You can get only two wrong, okay? Khan will keep an eye on things. Oh, Here comes wait. a Pokemon! Check its footprint and tell me what it is! Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, um, uh, I think it's ninja? a Ninjask. The footprint is ninjas. The footprint is ninjas. Oh yay! Okay, we're we not didn't memorize all of these. these from the normal games. <laughs> um. Like us memorize this from the games. Uh, what? I'm gonna say that this what? is probably Turtwig. It seems like it is. Yay! Bada is that thing. a shiny Turtwig too? Mm. I, I was a... couldn't check. That was a uh, shiny turtle. I think this is a slack off? No, actually. No! No, it's Sheldon. It's she Sheldon. Bazinga. <laughs> oh, God. Bazinga. Did, did they actually explain why he thinks Bazinga is funny? <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it, it's a joke. It's a joke company uh, that's called, like, Bazinga, and their catchphrase oh, is, like, if it's a Bazinga, it's, it's a good joke. Ah. It's Prince. Twin plop. Why did you pick nine tails? I got, I, that what if it was a nine tails? My dude. Uh oh, this is probably a Munchlax, I think. Yep. Not a Lucario, that's for sure. Mm mm. If it looks like it could be a Snorlax, Paul. If it's funny, it's a Bazinga. This Vulpix. Is Yeah, 
there to keep you waiting. Oh, hey, Pit! Yeah. Well, Mini game completed! Great! You've worked it on us day, you two! Let me review your sentry duty performance. Well, well! The results were completely perfect, except Yay. that one time. Shh, don't worry about that. I guess it doesn't count unless you run out of time. Yeah, doesn't like count. Completely. You identified every visitor correctly. Yay! Oh. Excellent! We can take it! Let's fucking go. We'll reward you, but generously, I might add. You're gonna give us our full wages? No. You all deserve an especially large reward. Oh, and we won't apple. get to you. As a reward for a job perfectly done, or as a team, you in the break $500! A joy seed! Isn't that okay, like that's 500 yen? Some ginseng! Oh, that's great for smoothies. That's not the end of it! A but life wait, seed! Yo, right. keep a hold of that! So many rewards! Can you believe it? Can $5 you believe it? Seeds? It's five dollars and a seed. Keep up the good work. Well, two seeds. Yay! Woo! Some ginseng. Crunch, 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 crunch. And some ginseng, yeah. I just love that Wiggly- I just love that Strawberry is balancing that apple perfectly on its head while it rotates. Strawberry that is a fucking doing it. This is we when should get some going to sleep music. You're yeah. going to sleep text, I think, yeah. The next day... Wake the fuck up, Samurai! <laughs> we have dungeons to grind. I still can't believe Keanu Reeves is gonna be Shadow the Hedgehog. That's, That's pretty funny, though. It's such a good decision. I know it- I know people like to say, like, oh, this is such a Reddit moment. I don't give a shit. I'm so glad. <laughs> Orange. Based. How you happy is really your inner- good shadow. How happy is your inner Sonic fan right now I mean, about truth that? Be told, a, a, lar a larger part of the reason why I'm very fond of Keanu Reeves nowadays is because I think he did a really good job as Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk. Yeah, now, he's really genuinely good. Like, I, I had a bit of experience in some of his previous movies, mainly because I had seen The Matrix, and that was really about it. Yeah. I, and John I haven't, Wick? I hadn't seen much. I actually haven't- I've only ever watched John Wick 2, and that was it. Not the John first one? I watched a little bit of the first John Wick. My mom didn't want to keep watching it because the dog dies. Yeah, that's fair. It's like the but first the thing that the... happens. Yeah, my but mom's the um. Like the it's, whole the impetus. it's the entire impetus to why he goes on the vengeance route. Mm. But I mean, like, hey, I, I have, I have, I have like, a, the, I have like the triumphology of <laughs> the first three. <laughs> The first three John Wick, so I'm gonna the trilogy, go there. you mean? Yeah, Alright, it's going to watch that. Try your thoughts! Alright. 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 Okay, yeah, same as usual. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. But yeah, a uh, bigger reason why I'm more excited is because the director just flat out said, Yeah, we really just wanted to do Sonic. We were like super duper inspired by Sonic Adventure 2. And that's like our main focus for this one. We just really wanted to do Sonic Adventure 2. So they're going like, yes. <laughs> Imagine, what, what's, what, what are Sonic fans going to be like if Rouge, if Rouge makes an appearance in the movie? Do you think people ever recover? <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't. What be if surprised. she's voiced by Zendaya? Just get the E quests out of the way. They're all at the beach cave. Well, no, but what like, no, e Con, these are these for? are randomized. We get new ones every day. Uh oh, actually, oh, they got some Mount. They got there's a more Mount Bristle ones here. Here, we can we can do a bunch of Mount Bristle ones today. You want to pick the one? Are you sure those are B and C? They might be too be high fine. level. We're good. Well, listen, we did map bristle before. I will make sure to grab some. We're not gonna stuff. bristle at this mount. I will make sure to get some additional uh, stuff. Set Wait, Wooper and Why Not were over there by the rock. Well, hello, Wooper and Why Not. How are you doing today? Right here, right? That's right. <laughs> oh my god, that's a female Wooper. That's, that's, that's a Wobba Fed. Oh, sorry, that's a it's... female Wobbuffet, too. Yeah. They have the lipstick. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell. 
I fucking love funny tertiary sexual characteristics like that, where it's like the, the males just look normal, the females either have lipstick or a bow. Well, yeah, your female Pikachu has, like, rounded tail. Yeah, that's right. It looks like a like heart. Them. Yeah. I find it very funny. You know, I want to say... Yeah, but it's really to... funny that they just gave female Wobbuffet fed lipstick. Mm -hmm. I also, I never forget that they gave fem that they gave Pikachu fucking Heihachi's moveset in Tolkien. I also think the best part about that is that fucking is that Lucha Pikachu in that game is, is, a, girl? is, is a girl. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Does Lucha Some Pikachu have King's moveset? <laughs> I'm not sure actually. Probably. Something serious. So sleep seed, grass gummy. I think, yeah, life seed like permanently, yeah, it boosts your max HP. I don't think that, yeah. Also, correct me if I'm, wrong, if I'm wrong, but doesn't Lucario have either Kazuya or Jin's moveset? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Kazuya. I will say, speaking about Sonic, he does strike me as a Kazuya. Uh, Sonic, uh, the, the Knuckles TV show isn't very good. It's mostly about the, the human sidekick, rather than it actually being about Knuckles. <laughs> Does he get his hat? He does get his hat. <laughs> yes. Let's go, let's go. Big money, big money, big money. <laughs> Bye. Big money. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. Big money. We gotta get some of these and get some of these. <laughs> yes. No whammy, no whammy, stop. I have actually seen a couple episodes of the old and newer seasons of that. Oh, yeah, People Shadow. get so yeah. hype over it. Oh, that's an Oran they, still, they still make it. It's an Oran, not an Oran. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hold on to that one so I can throw a dead enemy or something. Hey, uh, shout out to the Pokemon tournament for making Pikachu say Doria. I really hope that, uh... You know, I, you know that's not entirely... That's literally impossible. I was gonna say, I hope that eventually Pokemon gets put on something else, but that's... Zero chance of that ever happening. Never gonna happen. You know what's funny? Never, never, never gonna happen. happen. I don't you know what's play. funny? Despite... That's Go on. Bad. It's funny, despite the Wii U being how it is, it still has more games than PS5. Mm. Oh. You are not wrong. Is Pokken... What's so trapped on the Wii U? Do you know Blade Chronicles oh, Pokken, Cross? Pokken is safe. That got put onto the, uh... You got put on the Switch. It's on the yeah. Switch, yeah. And they actually had a couple more. Uh, characters. Xenoblade Chronicles X? Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles Cross is the X only still trapped. Like, yeah, that's the only thing that's, like, stuck on there still, I think. Wind Waker HD, I guess. Also, I forgot. Bayo 2 is, like, the only one I really care about, and that was one of the first things that got free. Oh, yeah, they fucking... They, 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 they ripped that bitch out of there. Ripped what out of I where? I kind of—I don't think I ever finished that. Actually, I started playing it and I was like, "I'm gonna replay Bayonetta one," and then I replayed Bayonetta one, and then I never went back to finish Bayonetta two. <laughs> <laughs> My friend is actually going with me through the Bayonetta series, and we've already finished two. I have literally not been spoiled for Bayo three though. In one word, summarize Bayo three. Bad. I didn't play it. Wow, that's subjective. Uh, I, I think a, a gross misunderstanding of why a lot of people appreciate... don't like it. A gross misunderstanding I said of one why word. Appreciate... No, I'm gonna say more. I'm I think gonna explain. Gross... I think All right, I'll take it out of the gay facts. I think it was a gross misunderstanding of why people actually enjoyed that franchise, and they felt a little too. It was a little too preemptive to do its DMC5 moment when it should have done its DMC4 moment instead. Like, Bayonet has oh, only had three torch, games. Or... Yeah. They were really, really eager to do a torch pass for a character that people don't really Barely like. Knew. Well, no, it's, Viola's fine. It's just that they got rid of her a little... They, they added... They forced her into, like, the spotlight way too soon. And without that much, uh... Entertainment value, I guess... I can learn a new move! Confusion! Get teleport out of here. Like That's computer, a good move to have. Cause like a bit a big a big a big functioning a big, a big function point of this game is that 
Viola is to become like the new like major character of the franchise. You play you play as her for three of the like twenty ish levels in the game. The damn spoiler well, was that game. And, take like, a take. A, a big issue with that game that I personally find is that it's it is obsessed with showing you like. Almost how much they don't like Bayonetta. <laughs> was Bayonetta's original creator involved in Bayo 3? Should have been, yes. yes. I'm asking if they were. Or were they? I believe so. Pretty yes. sure. So let me rephrase. Kamiya directed the game. Well, Kamiya isn't necessarily the one that. Well, I mean, Kamiya kind of made Bayonetta. He didn't design her, though. He actually wanted Bayonetta to be like. Do you mean the character designer, or do you mean, like, the people who worked on the first game? Like, the devs of the first game? So let me. Okay, so let me elaborate a little bit on what I mean by that. Please and thank the, you. A lot of the game is. A lot of the game is focused around. Unfortunately, a multiverse of a bunch of Bayonutters. There's so many of them, and a lot of the focus is on Bayonetta basically just getting, like, relentlessly slaughtered. Like, th the entire game is just you watching alternate universe Bayonettas eat shit super hard. Just oh, no. non-stop. Constantly. That's really what happens in Bayonetta 3? Yeah. And it's so fucking weird, too, because, like, they, there's a lot of potential opportunities for, like, solid moments. And even during the best bits, there's just moments where, like, the game just completely fucks up its, like, tone or how it gets set, it sets itself up. Paris is, like, undoubtedly the best portion of that game because they go to, like, an alternate universe France where, uh, where Bayonetta is, like, a, like a, uh, like a gentleman thief, kind of. And it's a very fun, like, little bit because she's still working with her mom. And like, there's just a flat out, there's a flat out part of that where she's like, hold on a second, you're not my fucking Cereza, eat shit. And they fight to the death, and Bayonetta has to kill her mom, and then they just move on super quick. And then you immediately go to fight the other, and then you immediately go to deal with the other Bayonetta, and then it's like, and then they actually end up like being like super chill with each other once they realize, oh, you know, you're actually, you're not bad, it's fine. Um, and then almost immediately, that other Bayonetta gets possessed by a demon, or no, it's their homunculi in this game. Which, by the way, they really, they really fucked up the, the character and enemies. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but... Oh, Sim just does not want to hear any of this, so that's fair. Um... I... kind of don't either. I was just oh. asking in, in general. I mean, I haven't played, I have not heard a single thing about any of this. I wanted to go into the game totally blind. Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I got a little bit into the paint there. Uh, you can tell... You can tell Sim that word that one that I'm done and spoiling stuff, but I just find that it's kind of... It's not great. It could be better, but I, I feel like it's... It fundamentally misunderstands, like, a lot of the enjoyable elements of Bayonetta. Also, the enemy design kind of sucks ass. I mean, the only reason it was kind of tainted for me was because of the controversy with Bayonetta as actress, but... Oh, that didn't really do anything at all. Still didn't excuse her VA for acting that way, though. So true. I will say I'm not very fond of the- this is not story-related. I'm not fond of the toothpaste monsters. Especially because none of them have memorable names other than the ones that named for clouds. Clouds? Clouds? There's, there's one called Cumulonimbus. You're getting hungry. I know, I'm gonna eat a bit- I'm gonna eat apple. Eat apple. Eat apple. Oh no, I just ate supper. That's why I was late I... to clean the pan. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. Huh? Cast iron pans are like a pain to clean. Oh, if you- oh, if you use- Oh, I see. If you set it to manual- if you set it to automatic mode, it makes you clean <laughs> everybody individually. Oh, that's weird. I didn't oh, don't do that. That's not stop. Well, that'd be useful for later on, at the very least. Wanted Outlaw spotted! Yeah. Uh, 
I killed one. Hey, <laughs> like, are the brains of a Dodrio, like, I all think independent, or? It's, it's King Geek rules. And they all hate each other. Uh, no, they all hate each other whenever they turn to a dude. And it's shiny Finnegan. Kill it. Okay, whoever made the sprites for these really loves their shiny starters. I think it might just be random chance, actually. Is that a Are you sure about that? Yeah. Oh, we've only seen so many of them at once. It's entirely like, possible that we just kind of got like weirdly lucky with the fact that this the, the, the Zoro was shiny for like this game. <laughs> like like Lemon and her uh, shiny luck. I am angry about that. Con, you know I have like ten shinies as well, right? Like it's not hard to, to hunt for shinies in the new Pokemon games. Just in Pokemon Go, they shiny. just it, basically if you just. Have a community day. There's gonna be a like shiny if you look around for long enough. I d <sighs> like Tom. There's there are a the, bunch like... of shit in the new games to just crank up the yeah, pretty the, much the encounter. You just eat your sandwich, and then the sandwich gives you better. Oh, it's a monster Falling house. Falling feeling the trap. Oh crap! It's a monster house. It's a monster. Yeah. This is a Doom monster closet. What? Bro! Oh no. Oh, oh no. Are you are we gonna have a JJK moment? It's okay, we have a couple of Uh Jujutsu Kaisen. The, the fucking Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Kaisen hate crime moments. This'll be fine. Wait, what? Hold on. Uh, I don't want BJK. What the hell are you talking about? There's a sh there's like there's a couple shots in like, some of the, in, like the movies. No, 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 like... there's one in the anime like this. Look, mm -hmm. look, look at this. Yeah, this is what yeah. I'm talking about, Colin. But they're just jumping someone. God, I think that must have been something that they did for like this new version of the for this fucking modded version of the game. Because can we just use last resort? I've never encountered a fucking. I've never encountered a fucking monster. Mon monster a, closet. A, a monster. A monster house this early on in the game. I have before in Super Mystery Dungeon. It's not cool. Look, see, oh, no shiny Fennekin again. This music's going really hard, actually. Sure. <laughs> it's okay. We have revived seeds. So if you survive this, XP for heck. Mm -hmm. I did not need to do that. Do what? I, I just did the, like, the basic attack. I have a reviver seed, so at the very least I'll just pop back up. Yay! Oh, I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. Chaos Snake is supposed to be able to it's supposed to be able to go like through two enemies. I'm surprised it's not doing that much damage. Or it's not it's not getting the Fennekin behind him. Okay, we got the Chime Echo, or the Chingaling. Nah, we're still going. We still got stuff to do. Yes. We ain't done beating ass. 
these are these fuckers trying to step up? Cause I mean, like, honestly, now that the chingling is gone, we're, pr we're pretty good. Like, I can just fucking... Like, it's just chingling, not chingling. That wasn't chingling. It's chingling! Really? Because I thought it was, like, ding-a-ling, but, like, it's, like, it's a chingling, you know? No, I mean, it's it chingling. Like that. It kind of sounds like that, I mean. It's not chingling, it's chingling. You see, it rhymes with youngling. Master Skywalker. Hey, Annie, I'm so scared to shit right now. What the fuck is going on? Oh, God! What? What? Uh, that, that, that what? Was a, that the sound of a lightsaber. Getting brutally murdered. Getting brutally oh. murdered. It was, the, it was the sound of the lightsaber turning off and then proceeding to murder those young ones. That was the worst Dude, life day ever. We're about to die. It's not- is it Joe? We might be back? They're too weak to really stop you any. Yeah. Khan has a fucking- Khan has an ability that lowers the attack of everybody in a room. <laughs> yeah, but you need your HP to go up. No, you need your HP you to go up. I'm fine. I use the do we use the reviver seat, remember? Nah, it's hard for me to tell. Echo voices, ah oh, shit. Oh, that's a Nidorino. That's why you uh and do another one? And there's the Nidorino down. Is this an example of a reverse jumping? <laughs> Technically, yeah. Were you just wash an entire- hmm? Were you just completely squad wipe an Were you squad wipe the ops? I think it's called different. a group stomp. I think it's just called a curb stomp symphony. Okay, now take those gum- Now eat the gummies, cause those are some good stuffs. Eat this. There we go. Yay! You got stick. <laughs> now, this, this Come on, track... maybe don't do that right next to the mic, please. This track is hitting me once again with the vibe of... Oh man. They really didn't do it like they did back then. Shit. <laughs> I think there's something beautiful about 3D about like DS era music that was it that's able to like still sound really good despite the limited uh the limited sound abilities. Fun. Yeah. He's fucking Nidorino! That's yeah, fine. Alright, move on. Destination floor! Explore completely! Yeah, we gotta find the person we're looking for and shit. I fucking the killed them. them. Uh, oh no, we already, we already did both the outlaw contracts. That part's done. Oh. They're dead and buried. Gets to eat it. Yay! Uh, He's Nidorino! Dead. Geo Pebbles. Ah, uh, there's the Nidorino. Yes. Get out of here! So how are they getting these posts out if they're stuck in the hole? Mm. Huh? How are they getting posts on the job board if they're stuck in the hole? Yeah, we're getting noticed that they're like, help, I'm stuck in a hole. I've like, just learned maybe to not. One of their friend, maybe one of their friends sent it. I mean, like, what I shit, my like, best. Like, if you look at, uh, like, if you lose in a dungeon, you can also send out a. Like, you can also send out something to say. An to SOS? Say, like, yeah, like, help! Help me! Welcome to my ass, you so well. Oh shit. 
Yeah, it seems like it's just like you can just send out SOS beacons while you're like out traveling effectively. Not to mention there's like the whole Pelipper mail system, so it's possible they can just kind of like be like, oh shit, oh, you somebody a lot of obliterated. I'm gonna like, let's probably the one the thing. thing. Probably the one good thing I can give Pelipper is just the mail system. Why do you hate Pelipper so much? I hate Pelipper. I hate pelicans and seagulls with a passion. Wow. What about no. you two? Seagulls and pelicans are evil. They are evil. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Pelicans are evil as fuck. Fucking love that gift. Gif is so funny. Seagulls are also evil as hell. Seagulls are just annoying and aren't scared of people. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, seagulls are annoying as fuck. They are evil. They are yeah, way too fucking smart for their own good. Just look at the number of gifts you can imagine of people being attacked by seagulls. Eh. I, I mean, which animal would you rather deal with? A goose or a seagull? A seagull. Probably a seagull. Yeah. With seagull, I could just grab it and smash it against the fucking wall. Whoa, that was actually kind of intense. I mean, you could probably do that with a goose if you were trying hard enough. Although, as you know, Khan, bad luck to kill a seabird. Oh! <laughs> I, I read the rhyme of the ancient mariner. I heard an audiobook version by Mr. Orson Welles. Um, Ooh! It's on sure, YouTube. Uh, Ian McKellen also did a version of it, which is pretty good. Did he? Or am I thinking of, um, might be thinking of Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee. Thanks. No, I am thinking of Ian McKellen. There's an oh, Ian McKellen version on YouTube that's pretty good. I thought you said Undertale for a second, Orange. And then <laughs> Undertale Iron Maiden made a song about it. Violent seed. <laughs> It's we're power. It's more powerful than the Island Chain. OMG! Brick break. It's a, it's a good poem. I would highly recommend it to hmm. people if they haven't read it. Nom 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 Time for nappy times. Also, the got into Guild Wars 2 last- exploration! Oh. The next day. I, I try to make the sound of Spongebob's alarm, but I can't. Uh, <laughs> however it goes. <laughs> A lot of it's just like doing weird mouth noise, like. Yeah, it's like a foghorn. It is a foghorn. <clears throat> but it is an electric. Hmm? <laughs> hold on a second. My, hold on a second. I gotta... friend this month. What is the funny go... fucking friend this month? Here, give me a second. I gotta take a phone call, actually. Oh, bro's taking a phone call. Just foghorn yeah. leghorn saying things to anime characters. Oh, yeah. Foghorn leghorn saying things to anime characters is pretty funny. Just. It, I don't know why it hasn't been turned into a trend before now, but it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Hey, 
I mean, I know it started with the Nagatoro one, the Nagatoro one, but my favorite thus far has to be the one where he's just talking to Vegeta. <laughs> I like the one where he's Android 16. <laughs> you see, we need a better one with Shinji. Oh my god. There's an end of Ava joke waiting to be made that I, I think just has yet to be workshopped. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. I don't know why it works with Foghorn, though, but it just... It's, it's, just it's so because he... It's because of putting a country... Them. It's putting a country gentleman in such a situation. You know, I said that, and now it makes me think of what if we somehow get, like, a Looney Tunes... <laughs> But, uh, Foghorn Leghorn is Benoit Blanc. <laughs> what if we just do Glass Onion with Looney Tunes characters? <laughs> you are selling me on this, and I am super Okay, receptive. Edward Norton is Wile E. Coyote. Oh my fucking god, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, people are always like, what's Benoit Blanc's accent? And I'm like, it's just Foghorn Leghorn. He's just some Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> well, you see, I think he's not quite Foghorn Leghorn. He, he's respectable Southern lawyer. But that specific trope of respectable Southern lawyer, the, the man who's uh, wiping his face with a, with, a, with a handkerchief. Yeah, it's a simple country lawyer. He's, he's holding him, his, his jacket by the lapels. He occasionally cleans his glasses. It's Steven Root in the B movie. Where that trope came from? I want to say it's probably just bad impressions of Gregory Peck in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, but I'm sure they probably. I haven't seen In Cold Blood, so uh, hard to say. I don't know how many Southern lawyers there are in it. Also, I got into Guild Wars 2 last night. It's pretty good. Now I may just be a simple hyper chicken from a backwoods asteroid. Okay, did Foghorn like or do anything in Space Jam? I feel like he was there, but I don't remember if he did. Uh, I remember he gets incinerated. Uh, he gets incinerated by the Monstars at some point because he asks, uh, "Do you want that original recipe or extra?" Oh yeah, I do remember. And then that. It, and then turns into a like a pile of ash. Uh, I, I, it, so I think he he doesn't get a lot to do. No, he doesn't have a ton of screen time. It seems that the uh, Southern Country lawyer is originally Sam J. Irwin, uh, Irvin, a Democratic senator from North Carolina. Uh. Invest uh, who was against McCarthyism, and later on served on the Watergate committee. But the Southern guy wasn't bad for once. What? Give me a sec. So the Southern guy wasn't the bad guy for once. In an issue of The Simpsons, Homer does this representing himself in court. Uh, and then later explains that he learned all of this from watching Matlock. <laughs> I keep meaning okay, to the, go find Joseph McCarthy's grave. It's actually not that far from where I live. I have found here the er example of the <laughs> simple country lawyer is Anatomy of a Murder with Jimmy Stewart. Uh, Who's Joseph I've McCarthy? I've seen it. Uh, so Joseph McCarthy was the dude who implemented at least just McCarthyism, the idea that anybody uh, could want to be oh, right. communism, right? Say communists to, to run around and find those Oh yeah, I know that. I remember now. 
Yeah, essentially just mass hysteria and false labeling. Yeah, I, re- I remember. I, I remember hearing about him in a Jim jo- in a Jonestown documentary. All right, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. So it turns out my dad forgot that password to his own computer. <laughs> what? So that, I was trying to help him remember that. Unfortunately, did he? No, nah, yeah, he can't. Yeah, you can't fucking remember it. I can't either. It's been too long. And it's like, I swear he uses. Did like, he write it down? No, it's. I swear he uses like one of those like randomly generated fucking like mm-hmm. computer password shits. That's like a jumble of letters and numbers. <laughs> yeah, letters, numbers, equals. Why didn't symbols. he write it down? On the first he don't. He no. didn't write it down onto it anywhere else. He just remembered it. At any rate. That's enough of that. So here, Ruben, if you want to go er ahem. Er ahem. Everyone, listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place named Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Okay, well, um, look at us. Huh? Toki wa tomare. Huh? What did you say? You say time time stopped? Stopped? Uh, you actually, if you want to do core fish, you can. Go ahead. You say time stopped? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. <laughs> the wind has stopped, the clouds are motionless. You know, what the fuck is Palkia's job, even? Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just isn't, hang there, suspended. Isn't the Palkia is the is the space He's one? Space. Palkia's time. Oh, Palkia's space. Oh, yeah, already. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. What's Gratina up to? <laughs> Giratina. The negative space. All right, three of us have to do this at the same time. T- t- time is t- stopped. Time, time is stopped. stopped. <laughs> <laughs> but how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable. <laughs> the unthinkable has happened. Somehow the emperor has returned. <laughs> <laughs> Why is time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud Forest's time gear was stolen. Da <gasps> dum. Oh yeah, that's you. The, the time, time gear was time stolen. Gear was the time stolen? gear was stolen. It clearly is lightning in a bottle. That's what made time stop. Hey, hey, hey! I thought it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Ooh. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer has to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind and let us know if you notice anything. You see that something. Is all. You see something. All right, everyone. Here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! Have your friends ever talked about Hooray! a time all right. I'll say here. Give me one second. I'll put something back in the fridge. Uh, I'm go Wikipedia. Oh, After dude! McCarthy it. died in office. A special election was voted to fill his seat. Uh, oh, good. Was the memories won by right? Walter J. Cole Jr., who was defeated by Democrat William Proxmore. After assuming the seat, Proxmoor did not pay the customary tribute to his predecessor and stated and said that McCarthy was a disgrace to Wisconsin, to the Senate, and to America. Take a piss on his grave. Just no. like Kevin. Just <laughs> like Kevin. Oh, you did. Good thing we don't have anything like that anymore. Right. You saw me. Right. You'll become quite good at your work. Thank I'm you. impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. Yeah. Absolutely. So, 
You all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper expiration date. <laughs> Let me see your wonder map. Orange opened the wonder map. So what have we been doing all this time? Treasure man? Town is here. Thank you, request. Uh, over here is where we would like you to investigate. See? There's a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may con conceal a secret. Request. That's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. You understand what this mission entails? What it is. Good. All right, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. It's where Eva's waiting for you. Uh huh? Well, what's wrong? You're shivering. Are you all right, Pat? Uh, are you all right? You're shaking. This ant is a patient that's making me nervous. This will be the first time I get to see my job as an explosion. I'm feeling a little worse. Like up. a dozen Pokemon at this point. No, oh, I'm feeling I'm going to burst with excitement. That's not good. You need to control your emotions. Bad things happen. <laughs> What's your <do> best, Orange? <laughs> Please keep those emotions in check, or we'll Pets all have to play. head explodes like the movie Scanners. <laughs> <laughs> we still need to watch Scanners. Yes. I don't even know what it's about, really. Uh, it's a it's about psychics on the run from corporations. Uh, Please don't. It's from Please. Canada. Can Please Canada don't burst from excitement. We're all gonna end up glazed. That reminds me. I want to watch the uh, what's that? What's that like cyberpunk movie that Keanu Reeves did? Where he has, oh, like, that's cyber Johnny player? Mnemonic. Johnny Mnemonic. I want to say Johnny Smalley, but that's a really shitty uh, oh, gamer man. The, it, yeah, I want to be fair. Johnny, Johnny Mnemonic is not that much that much a better uh, name. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember it hilariously had like a yellow VHS huh? tape, and the the case was clear, so it looks like it's coming out of the top of Keanu well, Reeves' head. Never doing that. <laughs> Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here. Today, in fact. Assembly? That's right. Yes! For assembling your team! Have you ever considered adding members, Kalan? Other members? Well, sure! You'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us. It sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh, how do we start? Beat them into submission. It's I'll just be a for you team we'll make of ours. Oh, the friendship mm -hmm. bell. Here goes. The friendship bell means it's time hey to fight. Yeah. Hey, yeah. First rule about friendship bells, we don't talk about the friendship bell. Now Team Omegaverse has the power to recruit new members. Really? We call them Omegas. Yes! From now on, while battling Pokemon in Dungeon, you may earn respect from some of them. And those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Omegaverse. Yay! Once you have recruited the Pokemon, asking. you can bring it along with you on Dungeon Exploration. To bring Pokemon along, visit my assembly, then see if it's members who join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes the crew. Oh wow! Thanks, time I go! You see, Khan, you're an Alpha, and Orange is an Omega, so now you what? need to recruit some Betas! <laughs> Slowpoke! Oh hey, there's what a the shiny fun? camera over here! Your guys' leader is the fucking is the weeping bell. You're both fucker Pokemon. That's a bell sprout. That's a shiny Slackalock too. Why are most of these shiny? They're almost I, all shiny. I, I genuinely think it's just random. Are you sure about that? I think there's probably a higher. Huh? It, What's it's going like on? a fifty-fifty. I feel. There are stairs here. Oh, yeah, this is one of the new features. Yeah, they have stairs. But there's something written on the sign. That's right. There's stairs. Huh? 
What? In this cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams opening soon. Win big. Big bucks, no whammies. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like a new shop will be opening soon. But hopes and dreams? I wonder what kind of shop this will be. You walk into there and you just hear dun, 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 dun. Well, Let's come back after it's open and find out. <laughs> Get big and win wild prizes. Get big and win wild prizes. Hey, super shit. <laughs> T Gen Orange, can we can we get at least Spanton, Jay Spanton saying something completely out of pocket? No, can we get a Spanton war cry? Spanton war cry? <laughs> What would he be He's kind of a coward. No, okay, so imagine if Spamton was Spamton was uh, William Wallace. Okay, <laughs> now now do the war cry. Now do the war crime. They can take our dignity, but they'll never take our freedom. They'll never take our cromer. <laughs> They may take our Cromer, but Cromer. we'll never take our win freedom now. <laughs> <laughs> he would say that. They can take our pixels, but they can't take our hyperlink blocked. <laughs> I'm gonna put away a bunch of this stuff so I can get some more revive seeds. Really lucky that we just get like three fucking revive seeds from the shops, like goddamn. I see what you mean about the music now. It's good music. Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay, warp orb algorithm. Warp orb. Warp orb. Warforged? Warp orb. Warp orb. Warp orb. Warp orb? Warp orb. Warp orb. <laughs> Warp orb. This is Warhammer 40k now. Warp orb. Warp orb. Warp orb. Warp orb. <laughs> wow, Khan's way smarter than me. Holy shit. Do you psychic? Oh wait, no. Did yeah. that just say it didn't seem to do anything? I mean, well, it's like I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck! I gotta. You, I gotta you get my... ate this gummy and it did nothing because you're an idiot. Oh, it said it doesn't seem to dislike it. I thought it yeah. said it didn't do anything. Like no matter what, it would I make get sense. Smarter, technically, it Gyro would make ball. sense for a psychic Pokemon to have. Okay. It would make sense for a psychic Pokemon to have a higher IQ, though. Because it watches. I mean, psychic Pokemon are just smarter. Yeah, like, everyone sure. just knows that. Sit in the corner, Robert. How much do you want to deposit? No. This Esper has <laughs> big mouth, which is why it's able to emote more without without becoming a nuclear bomb. It has the opposite effect of Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh! Oh shit! It is a cursed thing. Well, we we show it. That watching Rick and Morty makes you smarter. Should I watch it? No, you're fine. <laughs> well, watching Smiling Friends makes you happier. So, <laughs> new study shows. So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yeah, I wonder what the secret Ow! is. <laughs> I wonder if there's something behind. <laughs> that water's coming down hard. You think? Try it's getting close to the waterfall, Orange. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. What? Deluge. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me? It's intense. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Wait, you're playing fucking Guild Wars 2 right now? God damn, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I, I just started. Oh, wow. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably in love. be battered. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. I've been playing Limbus Company this entire time. Why should we even start looking? What if it's like beer battered?
Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. Find a way out. Seek a way. <laughs> Strawberry killed someone here. <laughs> I told you the waterfall had a hidden dick. I know where Again. the I know where the bodies are buried, Strawberry. <laughs> you can't hide it from me. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> I saw something, but what did Stay I just? Stay away from Nessa. That's not me. <laughs> huh? Stay away from Nessa. <laughs> oh, it's Tessa. I haven't played the game. God. <laughs> you had another vision. A vision. Just when you saw a lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall. I and see. That one. There's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Yeah, jump into the waterfall. Mm. Have you never played you already tried before? moving through the waterfall. Looks like that water is coming down really heavily. Imagine if there you was actually a solid time. cliff wall behind that waterfall. Just a video game. Ouch. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. Boy, oh, I was gonna Not take a Not Team Omegaverse that. getting pounded. So, <laughs> boom. <laughs> What do you think? Why did you say that like Shaquille O'Neal? Is there really something behind this waterfall? <laughs> the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> the chocolate icing. <laughs> Are you really convinced that there is a cave there? Yeah. I have, I have the power jump. of Monado. If I had arms, I would throw you in there myself. Like, Khan, you, you can <sighs> read minds. I don't get it. All right. I'm putting my faith in you, Orange. Can Esper read my- can they all- can all the psychic Pokemon psychic. read minds? I mean, yeah. all of I guess them? I think it depends on the Pokemon. Yikes! Okay. I gotta be brave now. We get scared and fail to leave through at full speed. Oh, I'll be so much better what I do. Stop talking yourself down, just go. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. X to slap, Be come. brave. Be brave. Be the bravest ever! Be the bravest there ever Ready? was. Let's go, Orange! <laughs> Three... Two... One... Now! Woo! Woo! Secret dungeon. Secret bitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Explore this cave. Yeah, you see, I was all right. It's like a giant dick. Well, you see, I made it through to the cave, but it turns out Kaneko's small, tiny body was too light and got smashed onto the rocks beneath the <laughs> waterfall. Oh, damn, boy. Hey! Big dumb boat. I as I could pick up Esper and throw it like a softball. That thing is tiny. Those are small. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like a moderately football shaped. Yeah. Wooper, it's like a fucking. It's Wooper. And it seems I love Wooper. Fluff. Hey, it's Anglo. Well, what what kind of ungodly, Wooper. like soulless person could say they hate a Wooper? Wooper's too cute. Hate the Wooper. Look at the little guy. Goofy little guys. What are you gonna it's do? Just a say funny me? little guy who goes. Wooper. They're like a. They're like. Wooper. They're. They're basically the Pokemon equivalent of what is an Axolotl. Uh, they, they, they are, right I mean, there, yeah. Con? They're, they're, they're so good. Um, excuse me, Con, Mudkip is right there. Yeah, Mudkip. well... Mudkip. 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 It's like a frog, kind of. It's a Salem. It's an, is it a Newt? I was gonna say, it's like a weird lizard otter kind of thing. But yeah, Con? it's like yeah. a Newt. It's hard to tell. Just a funny deep. little cutie pie. Dude, there's a sand deep To me, to me, to me Mudkips always seemed like... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of these Whoopers until one decides to join the team. No! Whooper! You see, the, the, cool, the crazy thing about Guild Wars 2 Orange is that th there's Let's no get. sub you have to pay. Mm. Tag! Yeah, I, I like... I played the fuck out of Guild Wars 2 a while ago. Oh, okay. I, I like water Pokemon. Oh, it's Tangela. Tang 
Tangela kind of stands out. And that's what it is. <laughs> Tangela kind of scares me. Really? Did Tangela oh, scare you? Tangela? He's just it's just because you never know what's bush. underneath all of the mess of tangles. There's I eyes. Just be a that's little that. guy. At, at and minimum, it's it like a right. blue. It, it's gonna probably look like an Oddish or a thin Oddish. There's a lot of Barboach on me. That Barboach was just sleeping there, Connie. You didn't have to kill it. It was just kind of there. I you murder that sleeping guy. Why did you let it happen? <laughs> he was gonna kill us anyway. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, he can't. He was coming right for us. Time. Damn. Ow. Stop doing that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, seriously, though, I just love Looper. Destruction. Yeah. Um. And the poison form of him is too cute, and Claude Sire is just- Ah, oh, Claude Sire is the squishiest friend! I need a full-sized plushie of Claude Sire back. to hold on to while I'm sleeping. Desperately so. We all want that, dude. That doesn't cost too much money. Yeah. Whisk cash beanbag chair. That's just free money right there. You know, honestly, like if I could, if I could house my, if I could fucking furniturize my home, furnish my home uh, entirely using Pokemon merch merchandise, and it was like relatively you totally affordable, would. I probably inflatable would, yeah. Pikachu chair. I would have done the same thing, but with Cinema Roll merch. Probably shouldn't be too eager with hitting those exits, considering that we do need to get we need to level up a little bit. I'm getting hungry. Oh, I don't know. Yummy. Orange eats apple. Comical, isn't it? Yummy. No, what's That's comical the is the single car crash and happening on happening on 69 oh. and Lover's Lane. What? Ew. I learned an IQ skill. Okay. Yo. Hey. He's really thinking. Look at him Wait, just up. dancing there! A real thinker, this guy! Dancing, he's dancing! We have to keep beating them up on the off chance that one of them decides to join us. <laughs> We've earned the there's right to gain friends. There's but only one, one way to find them. We've earned the right, but we haven't gained their respect yet. <laughs> It's like they say when you go to prison, you gotta find the first, the first toughest guy there is, and you just gotta lay him out. How much money? To <laughs> just, just to establish your dominance. Yeah, that always dominance. seemed like a bad idea to me, because that assumes it's that a pecking this guy order. has no friends who will stab you in the shower afterward. Jesus! I didn't say it was a good idea. <laughs> Hey, did, no. you fuck, hey, did you beat up fucking Buck Bumbus on your first day here? That Why guy's is my his best name friend. Buck Bumbus? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That's funny. Because, you, it's because it's it's got a very intricate lore, but no one talks about it. You got to be part of the community. You got to find out why he's Buck Bumbus. You guys call him Buck Bumbus. <laughs> ah, you have to be there. Listen. <laughs> L listen, Bumbus is a very kind and gentle soul. He just also happens to be built like a freight train. Beating him up wasn't a smart move. I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> it turns why out he was him? actually in here for punching a deer to death. That's why they call him Buck. You can't actually do that, turns out. Especially when you guys out of hunting season. <laughs> hey, inmates, quiet Without down Without a here. license? No <laughs> doubt. That's <laughs> Quiet, you see, we, inmate. You see, we actually do things in this, in this, you see, in this, in this fucking prison, Pokemon battles only. That's how you gain respect around here. <laughs> Remember that time when you say went to prison in 5Ds and they were like, all right, Yu-Gi-Oh card duel in the prison? I wouldn't, 
I think, yeah. They trade that like cigarettes. They had like cigarettes big illegal, stupid so dueling they... arenas in the prison. <laughs> ooh, it's, it's ooh. Wow, look at that orange. Wow, the natural beauty of the world. Look at all the gems sparkling. <laughs> Whoa, gems Bentley bear. it's a gigantic gem. It's truly no, outrageous. I've never seen a gem this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Touch none but the lamp. Time for the grab a giant gem. <laughs> lift, lift with your legs. <laughs> it's not budging. Con, we're both like plushies. <laughs> it looks really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Orange? Orange took over and tried to pull out with what? Like, with what grip? Your teeth. Your jaw, even. Whoa! This is really stuck. Oh, Budge! What are you supposed to play in this game? Uh, I think, like, well, let me double check the story. Pikachu, Pokemon, I'm guessing. Gen 3, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna guess Pikachu. Hold on a second. Uh. It's more than just the starters. Hold on a second, let me see. Uh, the normal starting Pokemon for Mystery for Explorers of Sky. Um, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Vulpix, Eevee, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Vampy, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Skitty, Turtwig, Chimchar, Pimplux, Shinx, and Riolu. That, 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 that didn't have a satisfying way to end it, I'm sorry. I love the Pokemon. I love the Pokemon. Love the Pokemon. And sometimes lunch <laughs> Uh, no, no good. So you couldn't move it either, Orange. You know, we have, like, magic powers. Why don't we just hit it really hard with that? No, but we can't just give up. No, it's not magic If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm going to give another go. What if we do the same thing again, but this time we try hard? Are you guys? Put your back into it. Not budging one bit. Huh? Well, it's shouldn't be driving this car. It's... Monty Python's Flying Circus. It's pink, like strawberry. Woo! Dead. But that was. <laughs> it's no good, I can't pull it out. Huh? Connor's just happy to push the gigantic gem. Ah, uh, that's... Huh? All you had to do was What's going on? Oh, it's a blood! Oh, you, you broke it, good job. Whoa. <laughs> no, there was a trap! Oh, that's really awkward looking because of the light. Game rocket's blasting off again. Ah. Uh... Okay. Let's bring. No. Uh, hi, hi. Are you are you okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Where are we? This is the hot spring. The hot spring? Oh, noir. Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, yes, we have one. Unfold it for me, will you? Should we get out of the hot springs first? No. Oh no, it's wet! No! <laughs> there! We're here. This is the hot springs location. Oh, I see. The waterfall is here, so... Eh? 
Hey! Check this out, Orange! The water carried us all the way over here! My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way here? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do them. Except one. Would you look at that? Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Yes. Now, is this a vision of the past and that Strawberry did this all before, or Strawberry's going to do this in the future? Now, that's a good question. And will kill us all. <laughs> Bravo. Oh! Hmm. Let me see if I've got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there's a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gem. When pushed on, when you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to a distant hot spring. Is that the gist of your report? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. Couldn't no, get no, no, no. Emphatically, no. This is a major discovery. <clears throat> really? But like, there was a bunch of other people already. We can charge there, people so for that. I feel, I feel like we're kind of taking stolen valor here. Little Undoubtedly. Bit. After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall. No one knew about that before now, except those five guys. <laughs> and their burgers and fries. <laughs> we made a discovery! But <laughs> You get $200. Those, when I had those dizzy spells, the shaft <clears> came on I saw. Maybe Strawberry just likes a spa. That shape. I've seen that shape before. This looks it's... like they're an Earthbound boss. <laughs> it's Who's that Pokemon? It's a Voltorb from 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 a oh. vertical angle. <laughs> exactly. It's a Pikachu. There's no mistaking it. Coco. Quickly, uh, Tav. <laughs> Strawberry. What if it's just a different one. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for you to the light, huh? The guildmaster Don't must tell be anybody about it. What? What's wrong, Wink? I think the guildmaster already knows about it. Uh huh? You think Strawberry may have been at that waterfall before? The guildmaster's a dirty rat. No, 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 if that was so, the guildmaster would have ordered wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Mm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the guildmaster. Hmm. Why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should be used to it by now. Mineral rights. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, Papa? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I'll go confirm what you told me with the guildmaster. Please wait here. So how did it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled over, mulled it over for a bit, and then he said, "Oh, memories, sweet memories, you ta." Then he danced around a bit. And then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the guildmaster said. Uh. It's just as Orange suspected. He was he has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we discovered a new place. I mean, technically speaking, a bunch of other people already found it before us, but, you know, that's just one more disappointment on top of the pile. <laughs> I already felt bad in him. I wish Strawberry told us right from the start. I'm part ghost. My job is to make things a little bit sadder for everybody around me. 
the guild master can be rather uh, erratic at times. Even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Never look. Well, him that's too head. bad for you guys. You just like zoom in on you just zoom in on Strawberry's head, and it's just uh, a big apple. <laughs> or or it's just it's just like the the carton of milk getting knocked over. <laughs> Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Or else. <laughs> Remember, if you decide to quit, then we're going to have to take the then we're going to take uh, what we would call a financially a financially educated uh, debt, considering that you are going to be costing us a lot of money by not be working for us anymore, which means that you're going to owe us a lot of back fees. <laughs> Today was exhausting. Also, I'm being informed that we're in some kind of weird pseudo financial guilt. That means that we can't actually quit. <laughs> I should go to sleep early. That is what that means. <sighs> we went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. I'm sure there was that huge letdown and the fact that I got let off, but it was our first exploration! I thought I was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. That's bad. Please keep those in check. <laughs> you stop. Made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. Rock. <laughs> One day I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. Stone. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, thanks. Mm. I can explore because of you, Orange? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Be brave. Be the bravest ever! I'm the biggest wimp around, and even I managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me, Orange. Seriously, Orange. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, Orange. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. You mean like the ground? I'm I'm always on the ground. <laughs> Does Bro have the echo? Come to think of it, Khan's right. Here's the voice of all things. When I heard Azuril scream... The <sighs> white boy is back. We're oh, sorry to bother you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that other time... Mm -hmm. right. Excuse me. Me, me, me. And when we were exploring Waterfall Cave! That happened five minutes ago! Whoa! Ah, ah, ah. Can you give it a try, Orange? It, it's true. It's always been touching something. Oh my god, those dizzy spells. I touch something, I, could, I see something connected to it, right? There's one more thing. When we rescued Azuril, you had a vision of the future. But this time you saw Strawberry going into the cave, right? So that means... This time you saw an event that occurred in the past! <gasps> That's true! In other words, Orange, if you touch something, you see it's past or future. You must have a kind of special ability! <laughs> it could be something totally incredible! You could use it in lots of ways! Not just for exploring, either! The ability could be useful for many things! It's fantastic, Orange! Well, yes, I guess that's true. But it doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It'd be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Robo. Robo. Oh, sorry. Back. Hey, you too! The guildmaster wants to see you right away. Why? Guildmaster, I brought you Team Omegaverse. 
<laughs> okay, guild master. Guild master. Oh my god, the guild. Hi! Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning a manifold expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring a nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never, ever consider rookies to be expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. Also, because of my expert deductioning skills, I figured out that one of you has psychometry as an ability. <laughs> That's why we're making a special exception this time. That include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now, now. You haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. But you just said we there's, were. <laughs> there's still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can- yeah, We're gonna make you earn it. Try hard! Yes! An expedition! Isn't it fantastic, Orange? Yeah. Why are you coming all of a sudden? Please keep your emotions in check! We might we give you we might give you a promotion <laughs> if you keep working hard. We might give you Never disappoint us. <laughs> we might give you a ninety-five percent No we, we we might we might only take away ninety-five percent instead of ninety. Hey, wait, that number went up. Bigger number means good, right? No, con. <laughs> Yay! I also don't know why people keep telling me to keep my emotions in check. Team Skull. Every time You're gonna Con. Us all. <laughs> Every time Con gets a little bit excited, you just hear the fucking tactical nuke sound effect from Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> 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 I like the I like, not... see I like the idea of like it's it's nothing that's like actually exciting happening around Con that finally sets her off. They just like they just like step on a pebble like fucking Ed during that one episode of Ed Ed and Eddie, and the world just goes white. <laughs> what exactly happens when an Esper in from, from what's been from what's like explained in the Pokedex entry, basically just Espers are like always like blank faced and don't emote at all because if they ever exert themselves or like show off too much emotion at any given time, they will burst with psychic energy, which will be disastrous for the area around them. Oh, so I'm an emotional time bomb. Pretty much, You're yeah. You're emotional milk. Ahem. As I was explaining, there's a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild has planned to mount an expedition for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please! Yes, sirree! He's such a goof. It's been a long time since we went on an expedition! Don't you mean a goof? <laughs> but that means you're going to be picking members from the expedition from all of us again, right? Precisely. We will depart in several days. Over these next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone, work hard <coughs> so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Or else. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Yup, yup. And I've yet to go on an expedition. I'd surely love to go this time. <laughs> Let's work at it and get picked as members! Alright everyone, it's back to work as usual! Hooray! Hooray! Well, let me finish my breakfast first. <laughs> ah, you two! Today, I want you two to check the job both of them. That's the usual dialogue, yeah. <laughs> get more than one job and let those fuckers get sucked out! Oh no! 
So today they just want us to work on the job first on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's try to do as many jobs as we can. Then they'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Let's go pick that one! There's Diddly Dick on it. Look! Is that... Hey! You do! Wait, that duo... Haven't we seen them before? Yeah, we kicked their shit in a while ago. Did we? Yeah, 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 yeah! Don't think you're so awesome! Your victory was a fluke! Yeah, you just remember that. I love that portrait. Yeah, I remember! There's just two crooks who stole my rock fragment! What are they doing here? <laughs> I'll have you know that we're an exploration team too! <laughs> What's so funny about an exploration team checking the jab bullets in the board? What? You're an exploration team? Yes, Rat. Though the way we operate ain't always by the book. Sometimes we just kill Pokemon for fun. <laughs> but what a surprise! Why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we're training at this guild. What? You want to become a real deal exploration team member? You, hear me that for a second. What is it? Now, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. He's into you. But you should just forget about being on an exploration team. What? Why? <laughs> well, you timid, you scare easy. And if you let your emotions get the better of you, you're gonna kill us all. <laughs> A wimp like you won't cut it. On an exploration team. But, but It's true that I'm timid. But that's why I'm in training, so I can overcome my own shortcomings. Even now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. Oh, an expedition, you say? <laughs> well, if it only gets you so far. You won't get picked for the expedition party if you don't have talent, right? It all comes down to talent. Pure talent. You gotta be the super duper high school talent. And a little bit of finesse, and you just see, like, out of one of Coughing's Hall, a little switchblade just pops out. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it doesn't even, like, it just flies it out and, like, sticks into the wall. <laughs> you sure talk a lot about talent, but what sk kind of skills do you have? You are so weak, we even beat you! <laughs> we, we didn't have the chief with us. Chief? Yeah, that's right. Team Skull, our exploration team has three members. Our chief's incredibly talented. To put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. Yeah, yeah. if the chief were around, we'd snap you like a twig. <laughs> Speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. He hasn't he hasn't shown it for weeks. Why do you keep smelling him? Smell? He has a smell. Yes, the chief. Why are you blushing? Oh, that's why you can oh, smell him. Oh, he's a oh, Move. he's a out of the gun tank. <laughs> Orange. Oh, what's this awful stench? <laughs> oh my god, it moves! That's what we were cheap! What the fuck, dude? That's a ray! <laughs> hey, guys! My heart is fucking burning! Move it! Or do you want to end up like that whip over there? <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, fuck, it's a league player! <laughs> you showed him cheap, you're the best! 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> for that. So did you. So you. You just sniff at any jabs that I'll bring in the dough. The jab board only posted cheap tasks, but. If there's something else cheap, it's got the potential to go big. Next from the guild! That does sound That's right. Here's it. Let's get out of here. We need to do something. Come on! We're going. Team Scout! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> hey, who let the fucking league play in? What are you all staring at? This ain't a public performance. <laughs> <laughs> See you around, wimps. You don't have eyes, asshole. <laughs> Are you okay, Orange? <laughs> I need a bath. Great. It doesn't look like you were injured. Oh, thanks. That sure was rough, though. I couldn't work up the courage to challenge him to his face. Even though he hurt you, Orange. I'm ashamed of myself. You're right. I am a wimp. <laughs> will, will you, will you uh, go against hey. them or just say nothing? You're not a wimp. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Orange. And succeeding, right? <laughs> but I really am a wimp. But it's nothing new for me. And I've decided I can still do my very best, even if I'm not very brave. I'm not going to give up over something like this. I'm going to be cheerful and keep trying. Thank you, Orange. For now, we better keep working like we've been doing. Today we're supposed to handle the jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's keep at it, Orange. Okay, you know, like seriously, who- Oh god. I was gonna say, I like the idea that, like, this, this actually kind of works out for an Esper, because I like the idea of, like, Esper came from, like, a really, like, a super-duper sheltered home because of the, like, distinct fear that, like, hey, our, our, little, our little dude's gonna turn into a fucking grenade if we're not careful. And they're le and it's, like, one day you just kind of fucking left to, to do their own thing. Okay, who's hosted an MTG tournament in here? Yay! <laughs> It, it's just, it's just a fucking, it's like Loudrun posing in front of Skunk Tank's buttholes. <laughs> <Why? laughs> uh, one, one of the most famous things about Magic the Gathering was a guy like posing in front of dude's butt cracks. <laughs> because there was a bit of a, there was a, there was a bit of a, there was a bit of a, a, a hygiene code issue with Magic the Gathering uh -huh. games, you see. He ended up getting banned, but then they decided against banning him because he was too cool. <laughs> and so true for what he said, honestly. <laughs> hold on, where's the where, where's the album? Yeah, let me, let me go and pull it up. Oh, hey, hold on a second. <laughs> Here's the image album. Imagine Loudred posing. Imagine Loudred doing out here. this. Yeah. <laughs> just Loudred posing in front of like random Pokemon's at butts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think it's kind of fucked up that none of us wear pants. <laughs> Now, Con, good lord. Ha <laughs> 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 
And thank you, Robert, for uh, for adding the unfunny to help balance it out. So did the pictures of in front of the book crack? Oh, oh my God, my ribs! Oh my god, I roll. Oh, a customer is at night. <laughs> Good day, is it not? The new shop's fitness cafe is now open. This wonderful shop is overflowing with hopes and dreams, is it not? Kibo. <laughs> hopes and dreams? You That's may. Right. Bad Toby Fox. <laughs> hey, why not come in? Don't be shy, why not? I don't really know about this. You want to find out? Like, they're just asking you to look at a cafe. Wait, like... do guess. I'll be $40. <laughs> This is, this is one of those fucking scams in Japan where they're like, Hey, you can have a free drink! And then they just give you like a <laughs> bunch of other like fucking bogus charges. <laughs> wow, this is a big place! Hello and welcome to Spinda's Cafe! My name is Spinda. I'm the owner of this cafe. This is a cafe for explorers who enjoy finding new things every day and are constantly challenging themselves. A cafe for explorers? It's us. That's right! It's natural to want to refresh yourself with a hearty, delicious drink after exploring. So we're delighted to provide this service to explorers and we trust it will bring them happiness. Today is our grand opening. Allow me to show you around the premises. Hey, did you know that they were able to run Doom on Spindas? <laughs> I did see that. I mean, shit, dude. They're running. They're running Doom in Persona Five now. <laughs> You've undoubtedly collected gummies and apples during your explorations, am I right? Yeah. Here, those edibles can become delicious drink sensations. Wait, we've been eating edibles you this to... whole time. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That makes I sense. Spinda for Spinda. will take your ingredient and use my incredible skills to make a delectable drink for you. Oh, she's like, tasty. Mm -hmm. So if we brought you an apple, you'd make some apple juice? Is that what you're saying? That's oh, I'm right! Excited. That is exactly wow. right. That's how it works. While you're enjoying a nutritious drink, you can sit back and share exploration stories. Here's the next facility. Ignore the Mr. Mime in the corner. He came with the place. Hey, this is the centerpiece of our place, the recycle shop. I'll bet you have a bunch of items in storage that you picked up in your travels and have little use for, am I right? Sometimes you have to throw out your extra items to make room. Doesn't that seem wasteful? There will be explorers and dungeons out there who are desperately in need of the very things you have locked in storage. That's what we thought, too. That's why we established it's a multiplayer. It feels like it is. You can bring your extra items here and trade them for items you want. How does that sound? One Pokemon's trash is another Pokemon's treasure, am I right? I thought it would be fun for explorers to gather and trade items with one another. You'll never have to throw out another item. You'll never have to say, what a waste. That's my goal. So if you've got a collection of items you don't need, please make use of our recycle shop. You can even get a bonus prize ticket when recycling items. It's a lot of fun. I know that was a whirlwind of a tour, but I hope you've got an idea of what place kind of a place this is. Uh, surprised you can walk. <laughs> I'm surprised you can walk in a straight line, ma'am. Wow, seems like a really fun shop. Thank you very much. It is my goal to have a cafe of hopes and dreams where many explorers can gather. I hope to see you again soon here at Spinda's Cafe. It just makes me think Spinda's just carrying out a tray of drinks and just immediately spills them everywhere. 
That one you get. I need to hire more stuff. Shit. Okay, hi. So much Wait. stuff. Will you eat at the cafe? How hungry. Perfect timing. <laughs> the truth is, I have something to ask you. In the past, when you wanted to take team members with you to explore, they waited for you at this watering hole. The what? Now the cafe is just open. Everyone has been saying they'd like to wait while relaxing at the cafe. I completely understand that. I mean, I understand how they feel. So, Orange, what do you think? Would you like to meet up with your new members waiting at the cafe? Okay. Thank okay. you, Tony. I'll make sure to let everyone know. Oh, none of them. <laughs> I'm sure I like they did that before you, you as soon as you leave the cafe, not before you go in. Oh! I almost forgot. I placed a Never secret signpost here. Did you see it, Orange? Yeah. Of course you would. You must have rung the bell because your team is assembled here already. As you know, when you ring this bell, School's back in session. I come here from the guild. Mm -hmm. You can still assemble your exploration team here. Or else. So when you want to be assemble your team, just ring this bell. That's all, Orange. Good luck exploring. Okay. Alright, now they're done throwing throwing uh, new game Shit at stuff us. at us here. Alrighty then. That's it for today. Uh, we'll return to this probably next week. I actually have no idea. <laughs> no clue. Alright. Good night, everybody. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Oh, oh, there's a new, there's a first time chatter here? Oh, fuck! <laughs> I didn't so even what? notice you! There was a new chatter here, I didn't even fucking see them and come in. Hello, Sun... Sun... Well, walk 31? Oh, gosh. Didn't notice you, I'm sorry. I hope you're still around. Uh, anyways. Uh, well, I mean, I guess not for much longer. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah.